kids miss kulkarni here in this video we will continue with organic chemistry and we are going to learn how to name ethers but before that what do we know about ether how do we know a compound is classified as an ether here is the general structural formula for ether look at this we got two groups r1 and r2 and they are separated by oxygen so which are r1 and r2 groups these are alkyl groups or sometimes they could be aryl groups like aromatic groups there this is one of the example of an ether and let's find out how we name these ethers now there are two different methods by which we can name ethers one of those method is pretty common method so let's go through that once like as you know ethers have two alkyl or aryl groups and they are separated by one single oxygen atom so the common practice is we list those two alkyl or aryl groups in their alphabetical order and then we just write down after that the name ether at the end in case if we have two groups which are exactly same maybe we have both the sides ethyl group or methyl group we used the prefix di so it will be dimethyl diethyl ether and so on what is the other method and this is the iupac method of naming the ethers iupac or iupac system is universally adopted method and that's why we will be using this for our class so what do we do here in this method ethers are considered as alkoxy alkane so out of the two alkyl groups which alkyl group is going to be alkoxy and which one is going to be alkane how do we decide that it's pretty simple the larger alkyl group that is the part of the parent chain or that will be the alkane part and the shorter one or the lower one that alkyl group is alkoxy radical so let's actually take some examples and see how it works and we will find out by both the methods how to name the ethers look at the first example here we got both sides methyl groups and if we had two same groups what did we say we use the prefix di the group here is methyl group so we put di methyl and we follow that by the name eth that's the most common method how do we name it by iupac method in that method we are going to consider one of the group as alkoxy in this example both the groups are exactly same size there is no larger and no smaller so we are going to consider one of them as alkoxy so this will become methoxy and this will be the alkane part which will be methane so the ether becomes methoxy methane let's take second example over here we got two alkyl groups and one is ethyl one is methyl remember we always list those in alphabetical order so by old common method it will be ethyl methyl ether and by the new method we are going to name one as the alkoxy the one which is a tiny smaller alkyl group is considered as alkoxy group so this becomes actually methoxy and the parent chain will be two carbon atom so that will be ethane how about next one here we got two alkyl groups one is ethyl one is propyl so by the common method it will be ethyl propyl ether and if you have to find out which one is going to be alkoxy the one which is smaller two carbon atom chain is smaller than three carbon atom so this one will be alkoxy in this case this is ethane so it will be ethoxy 
and the parent chain has three carbon atom so it will be propane all right let's take some more examples over here this is getting a little complicated right well not exactly so we got two alkyl groups now this is one and this is going to be the second one so which one is the smaller one of course this is the one which will be alkoxy since it is two carbon atom it will be ethoxy and what is the parent chain that is one two three and four so we got four carbon atom that means it will be butane now there is one more thing we need to write down the attachment of alkoxy group is at to position so you can say ethoxy to butane or it could be two ethoxy butane look at the next one what we got here is a benzene ring and then over here we got methyl group now whenever there is a benzene ring or aromatic ring that is always considered as the parent compound which will remain as it is and the alkoxy will be the one which is attached substituent group so in this case OCH3 will be methoxy and the parent chain will be benzene how about this one does it look complicated yes kind of let's actually figure out that's the smaller group so that will be methoxy and now over here the parent chain has three carbon atoms so it should be propane but what do we have we actually have there one double bond so we can say prop to in so there we go i'm sure you all know how to name any given ether now i hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you again in next video. Until then, bye-bye.